Welcome back to an episode of We Are, well, waiting until the construction robotics is done, but in the meantime, we are going to, well, uh, build ourselves one of those uh, purpley, these things, uh, production science packs. Now, it's just an issue with those things. They need rails, electric furnaces, and productive modules, all of them. Quite iffy to produce, um, but at least as long as we make sure to give it all the resources that it needs, everything's fine. So, now what does it need? Um, the... wait a minute. Uh, the steel furnace and the... this thing here. It just needs to burn, right? It does not necessarily need coal, it just needs to make iron a little bit hotter, right? Uh, usually, what happens in uh, coal production is uh, there's some coal added into the iron in order to strengthen it a little bit. But in this case, uh, iron is just heated up, which makes it actually very easy. So in this case, what do we need? We need stone, we need iron, we need copper. Um, yeah, stone, iron, copper. Let's just go with the raw uh, materials here. Like stone can be turned into stone bricks. And uh, the uh, iron ore can be turned into iron sheets uh, or iron plates. And the copper ore can be turned in again into uh, copper plates. And again, the iron plates can then be turned into steel. And then there's just one thing that's missing. And this is the plastic. There's... Um, do I have the fracking active yet or not? I don't quite know. I don't quite know. I, oh, oh, no, I understand that. Um, the symbols right here, like crude oil goes in uh, and petroleum gas comes out. Water and oil goes in and a mix of three products comes out. In this case, heavy oil, uh, petroleum gas and light oil. In this case, it's more petroleum gas that comes out, which is probably quite interesting so it's much better and it also gives you all of the other stuff anyway and then there's uh, again water and heavy oil which turns into light oil and then there's light oil which turns into petroleum gas again so in the end um yeah you do actually end up with an awful lot of extra petroleum gas if you make it uh work the right way and that's quite nice the only thing is you need to facilitate it with water but this is basically everywhere except if you're in a desert uh area but then you're be screwed but okay what do we have here uh in the end you can have a ton of those fuel thingies burnable fuel thingies uh which are petroleum you don't want the heavy oils or the solid fuel ones um maybe in this case it would be nice to use whatever has the best ratio like this one needs 10 oil this one needs, needs 20 petroleum gas this one needs 20 heavy oil right but you can turn uh, 40 heavy oil into, huh, sadly, 30 light oil. So that's great. Uh, that means this one can give you two of those. Um, or this one can give you three of those. The thing is, this one uh, and this one have the same properties. Mm, they're just made uh, from different uh, materials, which is quite interesting. So... Um, then what about this one petroleum gases uh this one needs again the light oil and it gives me 20 petroleum gas the problem is it gets uses 30 so all of this input is then turned into this one so that's great um so we end up with 20 petroleum gas which means one of those right so you should if you want to use the solid fuel you should st stop with the light oil and not turn it uh, again into the petroleum gas it would only make sense uh, if you have, if you for some reason um, start with a light oil already. That's that's just one thing. Anyway, so don't always turn it into solid fuel, uh, except at the beginning, maybe, or maybe as a byproduct or whatever. Then then it actually makes sense. So yeah, there's oil refinery, chemical plant, chemical plant, and yeah, there are just those two. And this is um, also the chemical plant, right? Then we have the motors. Okay. All of this is also only made in next to oil uh, stuff. So that's that's interesting. Uh, because that means that we have to focus all of our building needs. Uh, wait a minute. How many of those wire things do I have? A decent amount, but I don't know if this is enough. Let's see. Because I have to get far enough. In order to build out of that, uh, wire reach nine, wire reach seven point five, wire reach. Th wait, what? Thirty. 
Wow, that's a lot. Um, so, wait a minute. Total rolls. Uh, this one times two is four, four, and two, basically. Four, four, two times two. Okay, so we should go with the big electric poles. Or maybe even something uh, much larger. I think that was a building here. Uh, electric energy distribution thingies. And they have a wire reach of 18 for some reason. Uh, okay. I don't quite get it. Um, can it be that those big electric poles have... Like, why would you... Hmm. Supply area 4x4, four four, supply area 7x7. Seven seven. So those things don't supply that much on the ground. The, the medium poles are very decent when it comes to that. So what about these things? Uh, they supply 18. Ah, okay. So in this case, it's a trade-off uh, between spread on the ground uh, and wire reach. So this one reaches very far, so it's very good in order to uh, make the whole wire stuff just go multiple, uh, areas very, very easily. Um, that's actually quite nice. Let's just make a few more of those. Uh, so it's very good in order to traverse areas, and then you need the spread, right? So you're mixing two different, uh, pole systems in there. Pretty interesting. Anyway, but this is something, uh, that's, I would say, a little bit more advanced, uh, in, in nature, so... Something to keep in mind there as well. Right. And uh, I want to make the purple stuff. Um, the, the purple stuff, again, needs rails, electric furnaces, and this stuff, and the plastics. And because it needs plastics, it has to be produced in this area over here. Um, because I'm a wee bit too lazy to move all of the plastics around. So what I'm going to do right now... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I totally forgot about that. I... Okay, the pollution is actually not that great here. That means we might be okay-ish. Uh, we might be okay. But I think I have to go down here and down there, exterminate those twos. Uh, so I can uh, safely uh, advance there. So let's just quickly go down there, secure our assets, and then we can continue with the whole crafting, uh, building, and whatnot. So there's still some copper which we can take out of the ground. Um, but I also have to get a little bit of iron out there. The iron has like one, two, and three places. Sadly, there's no iron down there. Wait a minute. Do we have some? Uh, something that makes those deposits light up a little bit more. Because for me, they don't have that much of contrast here. They just look kind of the same as... Well, they are different. Like you can distinguish it from the surroundings. But it's not as easily... Uh, done as this one for example see that it's a completely different color than all of the rest and the brightness levels are just extremely high so it would be nice to have something that uh, shows all of the ores um extremely well like those recipe thingies and you have like rail signals which don't make any sense um like even the turret coverage is just extreme well not extremely bright but it is definitely brighter and for some reason, there's another monster hive. Can it be that they do spread? That's weird. Anyway. Um, let's go down there, exterminate some aliens, and then we can continue with the crafting. And uh, sadly, I have to go to the north, actually, which is uh, maybe not the best idea to do this. But all right, let's start with the one on the right side. Too bad I need more iron to make the whole thing work. And I also need some stone. Wait a minute. Uh, I need iron and stone. So which iron deposit is close to stone? None of them. Uh, this one is closer, but not that close. I could uh, maybe put a little bit more iron on this one. But I have to get uh, some mining uh, placed up here. Move it to the right, move it down, and hopefully that works. The other way would be to use... Um, ooh ha That's not good, that's not good, that's not good, that's not good. I triggered it. Not good. Uh... All right, anyway, that's definitely too far. Yeah, this is oh, too far away. Had to walk a bit too far for that. All right, let's go back there again. Where is the enemy? Da, 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 da. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, just a few more rounds and we should be alright. Oh no, that's... Every time. Oh, it's so annoying. Ah. So absolutely annoying. You just collide with a random stone in the environment. Ooh. And come on, come on, come on. Halfway there. And there's also some trees sometimes. Ah. Nope. I don't want the car to get destroyed. That's the thing. Okay. Let's just get out of the car. And we're going to burn everything. Because why not? Pollution my ass, and let's just burn the whole thing down. Maybe I should uh, get a little bit closer so I can get the distance right a little bit. Uh, there we go. Perfect! I like the flame frost so much. So absolutely great. So, now we got ourselves the hive just right. Let's take the one on the western side. Okay, and also save, maybe. That would be a very good idea. Uh, save over there, and continue. <gasps> or maybe there's another hive that I could burn on there? Nah. This is just really safe. The pollution is going down dramatically, which is amazing. Uh, and then, yeah, I want to make some uh, other oil stuff. Oh, okay. Uh... Like the liquefaction. The oil liquid. Yeah, I always want to do that, but I don't have the research for that yet. Uh, oh no. That's too many. 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 That is definitely too many. Right. Uh, that's weird. That shouldn't have happened. So, first, uh, we need to make sure to. Kind of get rid of all of the ads there. Blah. Just uh, burn, burn, burn everything. There we go. Slowly but surely. Alright, that one is done. I hope. Yes. Let's burn this one. Right. And a bit more fire, a bit more fire, a bit more fire. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, the fire sadly does not spread too quickly. That's a wee bit iffy. So that one is burning, that one is burning, that one is burning, that one is burning. I think they stop burning after a few seconds. Ah. Right. Okay, another one dead. Perfect. Do -do 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 Alrighty, let's just let the fire do its thing. What do we have? Logistics network unlock. Yes. Ah, sweet. Okay. Uh, let's go back there. Actually, I have to repair the thing. Oh, and with the logistics network, we have uh, additional methods of crafting unlock. Oh, thank goodness. Now everything gets a wee bit easier almost. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Also, there's a thingy down here. There's also some stone. Uh, yeah, there's also some stone over here. I'm looking for iron deposits in the area, but uh, there's sadly not that much. Most of it is to the north. Whatever. Um, let's just select a, another research thingy. Personal robots. Yes. Uh, construction robot. What about this one? Insert it into armor to allow construction robots to work from your inventory. Oh, it's basically this building here, but on a backpack. Uh-huh. And so into armor to allow many construction robots to work from your inventory. Uh, to allow robots to work from... What's the difference? Um, like there's a normal one, uh, like this one. A robot limit 10, that could be 20 or 15. 25, okay, so it just increases it uh, dramatically. Pretty neat. So, now, the logistics network is a powerful automated deliveries network that utilizes flying robots to move items and perform automated construction. It has three major components. Uh, the entity of the robot port, which is uh, this thing. It defines the area of network coverage, acts as a, a charging and storage point for the robots. Okay. And we have the logistics robots themselves. 
Uh, fulfill logistic orders and entity construction robots. Perform construction orders. Okay, so we have logistics robots and construction robots. Uh, these are the things that move things about, and these are the things that have hands to do things. So these are the construction ones. Then we have provider chests. Um, supply the network with items. Uh -huh. Active provider chest. Wait a minute. So the robot port is where the robots are coming out from, uh, and this is the robot port then. And this is what does all of the item work. Okay. Active provider chest, uh, buffer chest, storage chest, and the passive provider chest. All of them do different things. And then we have ourselves, of course. Uh huh. Uh, let's mark this thing as red and let's see what happens. Entity construction robots. Fulfill construction, deconstruction, upgrade, and repair orders from the logistics network. Uh, construction orders are created by ghost buildings. Uh huh. Uh, the item blueprint, for example, uh, or when a friendly building is destroyed and needs to be rebuilt. So they are basically um, building on uh, that stuff. Okay, so this one uh, facilitates with those two different... Uh... Okay, so the yellow stuff takes it all in, it seems. Uh, deconstruction orders are created by selecting the desired entity by item deconstruction planners, for example, like this stuff. Uh, and upgrade orders are created by the usage of the green stuff. If there is actually a tier higher that you can place, I think. These orders are also created when using the undo feature. Mm hmm. Interesting. So let's mark this one as red. Then, what do we have? Um, entity passive provider chests. Uh, supplies its. Oh, okay, so the robots are coming out and provide me with the items from those passive provider chests. Um, the logistics network, this means any items in the passive provider chests can be taken by robots to fulfill logistics or construction orders. Aha, uh -huh. but is it on me or is it on other buildings that need it as well? So maybe there could be an assembly machine or something like that. That would be quite nice. So, and the storage chests, um... Doing what exactly? I mean, they take this stuff and place it in here. Okay. Um, long term storage for the logistics network. Stores the items taken from player trash slots and deconstruction orders. Any items in the storage chest are also provided to be used for logistic or construction orders. Storage chests can be filtered to only accept one type of item, or maybe even multiples, who knows, because this is two. Interesting. So now we know more. Uh, only thing we have to do is uh, we have to build this robot port stuff, and that's the that's the easy thing. Um, if you want to build something next to a robot port, then it would work. Uh, what do you need for this? Advanced circuits. <laughs> so in order, to, uh, supply area is a fifty by fifty. How much is a fifty by fifty area? Wait a minute. There was a control tab, or was it a uh, control space, or like yeah, that one. Um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Uh, okay, so this is a 32 by 32 grid, uh, because it's powers of two things. That means that, uh, two of those, um, like... This this length from here to over there is 64 units. So a 50 distance thing is basically this uh, and maybe half of that. So this one up there, this one up there. This is the whole coverage of it. So everything that you build inside that area um, basically gets automated uh, to be built with the robots. That's just one thing. Um, you need to have those robot ports always there and they're just helping you with building and I would say it's better to place it by hand, because then you have can move it about also, or just use the robots in order to move things. Uh, so they are basically your um, makeshift um, inserters, right? So you can just get rid of all of the belts and inserters and exchange them with robots, and then they are doing all of your biddings, basically. That would be, I uh, think, what those robot ports are good for. Not building. I mean, they can do that, uh, but the whole building part uh, would be done by a personal robot port stuff. So you have the personal robot port on hand, uh, and that one does stuff for you. So what do we have here? Cargo capacity one. Uh, speed is that? Okay. Then what else we got? We got passive provider chests and the storage. Weren't there more chests? 
Um, interesting. So, anyway, they have the same recipe. They're just making different things. Uh, makes it co makes its constant uh, content, there we go, available to the logistic network. Um, okay. Long-term storage for logistic network. So this is basically where it goes in, and this is where it comes out. Um, what about the range? It just says it has storage size. But I think uh, what you can do here uh, is you can have some inputs uh, where the robots are placing things in. And then uh, what you can do is you can supply uh, different uh, um, different articles or so, if you can filter this, uh, from all of those provider chests, and then you can just move things about. The question is, oh, wait a minute, uh, they still have to be supplied by... Uh, by other stuff. Um, so what you can do is you can put them maybe on the outer uh, fringes of your base uh, and then all of the... Um, why are the other robots? Logistics robots. Like this is a construction robot, right? Um, what's going on with the uh, logistics robot? Uh, construction robots. Okay, but what about... Logistics robots. I mean... Ah, they're two different things. Logistics robots, there we go. So this is moving things from A to B, basically. And then we have this logistic system. That one gets unlocked afterwards. And this one has an active provider chest, sends its content to the logistic network, yeah. um, requests specific items from the logistics network. And then we have a buffer chest, requests specific items to be available for personal logistics and automatic construction. I mean, there are different things in here. But the arrows, I think, tell you exactly what happens there. So everything goes into the request chest uh, from all other thingies. The uh, purple one, the active provider, uh, provides for for the green, for the buffer chest. It provides for the, for the yellow, uh, which was the... Uh, another chest. <laughs> um, then it also provides for, for this one, for the request chest, of course. Uh, and then you have... It's kind of weird. Like, why is it that the yellow chest and the red chest basically do the same, uh, the same work there? I mean, this whole thing is mirrored, uh, but it has a trend towards the left. So that means uh, the buffer chest uh, and the logistics chest are the ones that are getting supplied the most, mm, and all of those are just taking things in. So it's kind of like just shuffling items about. But if you just hold on to the chest or so, then maybe the whole thing will work and you can just place request chests and everything's good. I don't know. I would just say you place one kind of chest and everything's fine and the robots just do things uh, automatically. So what about this one then? Uh, storage chest recipe uh, and this one. That's... Don't I have this one already? Huh. Okay, then we have our logistics robots, uh, which can move things, and then character logistic uh, requests. Character logistic trash slot plus 30. Oh, okay. Interesting. And the RoboPod. Connects with other RoboPods to create the construction and logistics network used by constructing construction and logistics robots. R okay. RoboPod. What about the uh, other RoboPod, though? Um, I mean, the one that we already have unlocked don't be construction robotics there we go roboport recipe again um can it be that the roboport is the same uh, or is like a passive provider chest recipe yeah i think it does not matter which one you take uh, as long as you just choose whatever kind of robots uh the only thing that's different here is the kind of robot that you're getting out of and the kind of orders that you get. Um, but in this case, um, it's not a tree, basically. It's more like a bending uh, or hole or whatever. So what do we got here? Blueprint book. Uh, blueprint Alt and B. So I can just make Blueprint like that. Uh, and then I can open my Blueprint book. Which... Uh, that's weird. Uh... That's weird. Uh, stores, blueprints, and similar items. Right click to open. Uh, how do I use shift mouse wheel to change active? 
And how do I get rid of this item then? I mean, look at this. I have another blueprint book. I can make thousands of blueprint books, but how do I get rid of those? Right click to open. But how do I destroy blueprint book? Ah, okay. Delete book. Interesting. Ah. Uh, it's an unnecessary layer of complexity, to be honest. <laughs> um, I mean, it's nice that you can have multiple of those blueprint books. But why can't you have a blueprint menu that you can uh, load stuff into at will also? You prepare this, of course, before the start of the game. Um, so that you say, I want all of this stuff from mods and whatever kind of blueprints in order to be added. Or I want to have a fresh, clean uh, version of this in order to create my own blueprints also. And maybe in-game you can request blueprints uh, at will if you want to. So, um, upgrade planner. That's that. And deconstruction planner, blueprint, da 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 and toggle exoskeleton. Oh, okay. So this is how we can activate and deactivate the thing if we have that, that is. And there we go. Paste. Control V. Uh, control C. Sweet. So now we can actually do things, uh, but we still need the personal robo port for that. Because everything else is not really the right um, solution, I would say. Right. Um, as I said, I wanted to get myself... Uh, some more stone from here. I'm just going to move it to the right, connect it to this line over here. Same goes, of course, for the iron up here. Maybe the iron up there. Uh, I think I'm going to make a little land bridge and move the whole thing down. And with a bit of luck, the pollution from the drills won't be as high uh, and as unnecessary as it usually tends to be. Uh, wait a minute. Can I make more drills, though? Yes, I can. So let's make another five, and that should be okay. Because uh, I'm not getting enough uh, iron at the moment. So. And that usually means uh, I have to move the mine around a little bit. Uh, there we go. So I want more iron in here. Uh, or out of here actually. And I want everything to be mined accordingly, so let's do something like that. Of course, everything's in the way. Uh, okay, not anymore. Perfect. So let's just take this one here and place that down there. Then we have a supply. Perfect. Everything's great. Um, yeah. That, sh that should do it. How many more of them do we have? 18k, 11k, 18, 30 something, 20, and so on and so forth. Right. I don't need to overdo this though. Then, personal robot port is available. A and I can even make that. Two minutes crafting. I think I'm going to make this right now. Um, and this one needs, of course, slightly better research. Uh, personal robot port is somewhere. It's personal, it's here. Robot ports up there, needs batteries and advanced circuits. Oh. Okay. Um, hmm. So the actual amount of uh, items that you can use aren't shown. That's that's not that's not cool. Okay, anyway, let's go for follow robot kind. I mean increase the number of uh, combat robots that can follow you. It's nice, but the problem with those uh, defender and destroyer, the problem with those uh, combat robots. This is a defender. What about this other robot? Where is this thing? Mm, is it still not ready yet? There we go. Destroyer. Most advanced type of combat robot follows and helps the player for a limited time period. Mm. But then it goes poof and it, uh, distraction caps you. Uh -huh. This one here, distractor. Uh, yeah, the problem is that you use them as ammo, kind of. And I don't like that. Like, why can't I just use them? the way they are, then everything's fine. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do, though, uh, is I'm going to place some of those uh, artillery buildings on the fringes of my base, and then the whole thing will just do its thing. Or maybe I just ignore it, uh, clear the whole area myself, and then uh, I'm going to build all of the other nice things. <laughs> so, wait a minute. Mm, I can definitely get this uh, electric energy distribution thingy. So let's get that one next. So, um, this right here uh, could be another copper uh, copper mine line, just to make sure that I always have a decent amount of it. Mm. 
So let's see. I am going to make. Uh, do I go downwards or to the to the right? I'm not quite sure about that. So this one goes here. This one goes here, and uh, it also needs to be connected. Ugh. Okay, I can't just build multiple things at once. Let's see if you bit. Um. So let's see. We go for like. Uh, I don't want to make it too complicated, at least. So that one goes like that. That one goes like that. Uh, that one is like 12k. 6 point something k. No, that's definitely not enough. And look like that. I mean, when it comes down to speed, it doesn't really matter what we're choosing here. Look like that. Uh, that. And uh, that. Then we're going for that. And that. That one is the wrong one. And this one right here. We want to get all of it out as much as possible. And the in betweeny things are overlapping, of course. So, and the rest down here doesn't really matter. Right. Uh, the whole thing, of course, needs more power. What the? It's always the reach. It's always the reach. Come on. And this one goes there. This one goes there. And to the right. And upwards. And. Uh, that's the wrong side, and down there, and there we go, oh wait, um, electric distribution, right, uh, this thing does not distribute as much, this one distributes further, wait, this thing, uh, we can distribute one over here, um, one over, of course it's out of reach, as usual, one over there, one over there, and one over there, so, uh, and now I want to have a uh, long connection. It said that it goes like 30 units or so. But I think it goes from one of those towers to the next. But it... Uh... Ah, look at that. Look at how far it goes. That's amazing. Um... Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, that's stupid. Uh, okay, D never, 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 ever um, place them right in front of you. That's a stupid idea. Very stupid idea. So, let's get back in the car. It's a nice way uh, to make sure that you're not actually hitting that by accident. Okay, that's stupid. Uh, if you hold it down, then you can always get the maximum distance. Uh, but if you try to get maximum distance by hand, you have to like fiddle a little bit with it and then bam then you can hold it bam so now we got that one disconnected uh, and I need the copper to go where exactly um, I mean I have copper in the base network right and I also have um, copper in this network so it would be nice Okay, I'm going to use the copper down here in the base network, and I'm going to use um, the other copper that I have in the other kind of network. So, in order to make that uh, easier to handle, I'm going to use... Copper is coming in from this side, it seems. Uh, I'm going to use a splitter or some other kind of network. What the? Okay, that one is not quite working. There we go. That's the only thing that you can place with your car. Whoa. Will it tunnel through? Will it tunnel through? No. And there's the tunnel, I think. Some of it got tunneled, I have to say. One need to make sure that there's no tunneling happening here. No, there's no tunneling. Right. So, let's go back there. Oh, wait. Uh, I already managed to get a bit too far away there. But anyway, the right side is... Oh, every time! Uh, I hate treats so much. Uh, definitely not the best thing in this game. Anyway, the thing is going upwards. And drives up there. Then I have to do a similar thing with the other copper supply, which is coming from up there. 
Uh, there we go. This will be a, another nice copper line. Which produces all of the other copper that I need. It's just that I think I need to make more of those... Yeah, electric mining drills. So... Do I want to make that now? Or do I want to go for iron? I think instead of going for iron, I should go for stone instead. Um... The problem is stone needs to have another connection line parallel to it because it's a completely different uh, different beast. And that's the thing. And I'm not going to make that work. Completely different beast. Okay. Let's see, maybe I can manage to move this uh, through here without messing things up too much. Um, let's see. This one goes uh, up here, then we have like two units of space always in between. And like that, and then of course, make something like that, and like that. And same thing over here, 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 here. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't have any more of those. Is it ready yet? No. I should just craft one and one and one and one. Uh, and then craft multiples instead of crafting five and five and five and five. So, let's craft one of those up here. And then... Uh, let's move this up here. There. Three. And this is like 14, 15. Yeah. Ah, okay, it's a, it's a decent amount. Then there's also something down there, but I think I have to move this a bit. So this one goes up, and then... Sideways around it, and... Same for that one. And then, of course, we need to supply it with the electricity. One of it uh, up here, another one up... Hoi! Okay, uh, in this case we can have it a little bit closer on the, see that this inner side down there? Inner side and inner side there. All of those four are now connected. Only thing I need to do now is connect the rest, obviously. Uh, uh, this is, that's not good. Um, there we go. This one came from somewhere over there. That's weird. Where did it come from? That's strange. Did I... The thing is I can't rotate the camera in order to know exactly what's happening. There we go. I think we got it. This will be like a uh, parallel line there. Oh! Absolutely great. Anyway, uh, parallel line as I say. And also we need to connect the rest of it to the electrical network. Uh, the one with a large amount of power and stuff. So, come on. Uh, uh, there we go. And uh, boom. And boom automatically gets placed at the most possible location as long as you place it uh, within range or so. There we go. Now it's working. Why is that one not? Oh! Okay. That one needs... Uh... Hmm. Okay, that's not quite working, right? But okay. Now it's working. Uh, the stone's coming through, which is great. The pollution will just increase a little bit, but this is only the the drills, right? What I can do is I can focus all of the pollution into a center space down here, and then it will just stay there, maybe expand a little bit, um, but it will not pollute too much of the outer uh, areas down here, or around it, really, uh, in order to attract too many enemies, and this is actually what I want. Very nice. Okay, so a luggy. And continue a bit. So. Let's see. What am I going to do with this uh, stone line now? 
I mean... Nah, I don't wanna... Ah. I don't wanna fiddle too much with lines, so I just wanna uh, keep this one separate. Maybe I can have a... Stone line. Uh, are you kidding me? Almost, almost... Ah. No! Oh, come on! <laughs> and I'm out of stuff. Great. So, what about the crafting? 50, that's not good. They usually arrive somewhere in my main base. Uh, it was on the western side. Do -do 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 -do. So, aim for it. There we go. Don't hit it by accident. La -dee -dee, da -dee -do -do -dee -dee. da 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 Oh, yes. Uh, I made an awful lot of those things. Everything is, of course, powered by... Um... By these. Huh. Okay, let's see how far they are going to drain. But I will notice it. As soon as I have, like, an electric problem in here, I just need... To, oh, I know that I need to make more of those accumulators. And right there. This is where I have the whole thing uh, supplied. So let's go with... Um, uh, maybe a few of those, and maybe a few more. Like, I need at least a thousand. Uh, maybe a bit more than that. Like, a thousand. Maybe a few more of those insert us, just in case. Um, one, two, three. Uh, one thousand, like... Five hundred, that should be... Okay. Right. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do. What do we have here? 3.2, okay. Uh, the last time, it actually stopped somewhere around 3, but I built a few more of those buildings right now that are going to drill that also need more energy. And that means it's probably going down to like 2.4 or something. Uh, let's see. Um, then I can also make a little stop um, on my... I call it petroleum base, but no, it's a plastic base usually, the oil base. Then I can pick my pick up some of those. Uh, yeah, 2.4. Let's see. The thing is, we don't know if it gets day or night yet. But it, it seems to stop. That means everything is charging up and those things are going up. Yes. So 2.4. So halfway through our storage capacity, uh, we go. The whole thing is still pretty much powered by that thing. Um, this will... Still power all of that. But it could basically rotate everything down. Wait a minute. Uh, where's this iron actually coming from? This iron is coming from this other base. Yes. Okay. So, what's the next one? Um, worker robot cargo size? Eh. They can just move things. Uh, mining productivity. There we go. Uh, increased yield from all mining drills and pump jacks. Plus 10%. Mm -hmm. Means they lower this further, or... Yeah, what's the thing that I like to have? Productivity or speed? Mm, energy consumption goes up. Eh, okay, actually, energy consumption is never a problem. Uh, this one just makes more stuff, but it's lower speed. That, that, that's just the thing, I just don't know what to do with those. I don't really see the benefit of them yet. Mm, like, either they consume less energy, which is okay, but we don't have energy problems, we just create more of those solar panels and everything's fine. So this is out of question. Um, then energy consumption itself. Well, bonus, uh, in this case, bonus. Uh, needs more, that's not good. Productivity of 6% seems to be a, bit, a little bit too low, right? But in this case, it comes together with pollution, which is not cool. Uh, this is the reason why I went that way. Uh, so the only thing uh, that I could go for is the speed module, right? That's the only thing uh, I would be okay with because like 30% more means also 30% more stuff, right? It, we drain the resources faster, of course. Um, in this case, uh, that would just be better, uh, but we cannot just get rid of pollution. So we're not going for productivity modules only when it comes to crafting. Uh, when it comes to upgrade stuff, we're going for speed modules most of the time. At least if we actually place uh, those modules in there, that is. 
So, now, um, but let's just get more yield. Uh, laser focus light beams and stuff. Uh, what can we do with it? Focus light capable of causing damage. Uh -huh. uh, it's nice that we have that, um, but what do we get from this? This is the basic research that unlocks other stuff. The laser turret, energy weaponry, and uh, personal laser defense. Yeah, that's cool. What else? Uh, distractor drone, laser shooting speed, laser weapon damage, and this is a laser turret. Ah, and then from the turret we can have a personal va variation of it, as well as a discharge defense. So I'm going to damage, uh, push back, and stun nearby enemies when activated using the remote. Aha. Uh -huh. So we need to hit a button for that. Perfect. But it's kind of like those, uh, this laser from, from the Predator. It's on your shoulders. It just does things. Pretty neat. So, let's just get some accumulators out of here. And accumulate some stuff. Da da dee, da 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 do. Da 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 da. And as usual, we are. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, driving on the wrong side. I really have to exchange all of those poles. Something else. It's hideous. Okay, yeah, I can uh, probably place something down there. So, let's place a few of those. Okay, got it. So, let's place the rest. Uh, that one goes somewhere over here, I think. That one goes up here, that one down there, that one like that, and like that, and like uh, that, 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 like this, like that, like so. Oh no, this one go only goes two units wide, that's not cool. Uh, so I need like a wider coverage for that. Uh, let's see. Let's take that one. Nice. And instead of this one, just take that. Maybe, can we really override that? I think we can override those poles. Yeah, we can just place whatever other poles there in order to get better coverage. That's pretty sweet. So that one goes over there. Uh, like that, like that, uh, like that, and like that. Okay. So, everything is connected back to the grid, uh, it can accumulate a little bit, and it is... Uh, these ones are charging up, look at how quickly that goes, like... <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, and at some point, the output of those should actually reduce a little bit, right? Uh, as soon as all of those accumulators are charged up, the output stays constant, okay. So the output of this is just dependent on the sun. If the sun is up, then the output's up, uh, and... Uh, that's it. Pretty neat. It's a huge solar farm, right? And all of this was basically connect or bound uh, or com com compressed. Let's go. By uh, compressed is the right word. Uh, compressed in the um, in the boilers, right? This is where the energy was. Well, actually, it was compressed in the coal, and in order to get this out, we had to burn it. There we go. Okay, now we got some uh, stone supply that we can utilize. Maybe also some extra... Um, uh, extra other stuff, but yeah. Once we have that here, we can uh, work with that. Then... Uh, maybe I can have, like, in-between furnace station that just turns everything around. Uh, that would be a really good idea. So we have like uh, input goes in here and uh, the output is just the finished product and then I can do something with it. So I don't have to burn it on site. Uh, and this is the in between the area that can facilitate a, or that can manage a bit more pollution, right? The better way would be to go further into the forest down there for the trees and stuff. Anyway, um, I need to go up here uh, into the iron forest. Oh wait, I need to get some some stone. Can I pick items up, though, uh, when I'm on the car? Yes, I can. Okay. Alright, so, how many of them do I have? Let's get a few of those. Uh, 
Alright, let's hope that this is enough. The copper, we just uh, let it be there for a little bit. Da da dee, da 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 doo, da 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 Right, that's our next deposit. Okay, let's save real quick before we do anything too reckless. And that might be a pretty good space there, so let's see. Uh, hmm. I mean, we could just use this right here. Bam, 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 halfway there. I want to just uh, keep a little bit more space around to make them more probable. Okay, there we have the stone. Oh, coal, ironstone, a huge rock. Pretty neat. Wait. We get a bonus by harvesting that. That's pretty sweet. So this is 20? No, this is just 20. Okay. Sometimes we got a little bit more out of that. We're really lazy when it comes to moving. Uh, sweet. Alright. How many more rocks do we have in the vicinity that I could mine? Not that many more. Alright. But there's uh, even more iron. Okay. There's an uh, alien base. This is probably going to get attracted uh, by our mining work and whatnot. So. I'm going to do it here. Ay, 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 ay. Wait a minute. Uh, let's stay down here. Save again. And from here we can uh, start our little extermination progress. Ah. Okay, come on. Right. We got one thing. It's good. Okay, we got another one. I think. Halfway there. It's... It's dead, yes. Took a little while. Took a little while, so... Oh, come on! Ah, wrong weapon. No, 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 I'm gonna be killed. Not cool. Okay, got it. Let's just wait here. That's also a nice coal deposit. And, ooh, that's a nice mixer. See that? Coal, copper, and iron. Okay. We got it pretty much. Let's wait. Wait. And wait. <laughs> Okay, I have to go a little bit further away here because I think the pollution will just uh, attract everything. And now we are ready to fight this monstrosity yet again. Alright. Let's just wait until the whole thing is dead. And done. Perfect. Save. Alrighty. Maybe I should have driven through here, but no. There we go. More stone and another base. Alien hive thing. Let's get rid of that as well. Yep. Fire is the way to go if you want to get rid of stuff. Really quickly. In this case, you can just uh, set fire to the grind, and every enemy that tries to get closer to you will just get burned. It's pretty sweet. Okay, and that one as well. That one. Do -do 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 -do. 
Okay, that's done. That's done. Right. Alien hive destroyed. Save. And we can also get a little bit more walk out of it while we're at it. Produce more than one gigajoule per hour using only solar panels. That's cool. There's also another achievement, which is the uh, coal all the way kind of thing, which means no solar panels whatsoever. But we are not going to do that because I don't like defending against enemies that often, right? I want to build stuff. Um, and every time when it gets destroyed, I have to rebuild it. And that kind of annoys me the most. The whole rebuilding kind of situation. Uh, that's why I'm going extremely all out on the enemies. Wait. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, da, 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 da. Like this one. Damn it. Uh, e is the one. Anyway, this is the reason why I'm going all out on the enemy bases and destroy as many of them as I can every time. Okay. So, let's save. Holy shit, what's that? Can it be that every time I destroy stuff, the remaining hives will increase in size further and further and further? Or is it that the hives somewhere in the starting location are very small? And the further I go away from the starting location, they grow even larger and larger and larger. I mean, there is definitely a relation here. I just don't know if it uh, has something to do with your starting location or not. Okay, anyway, uh, let's burn the whole thing down. I don't have that much range. Okay, I'm running out of ammunition when it goes on further. I mean, they're respawning a bit too quickly. Uh, yep. Basically, I overdid it a little bit on those. Okay, no shoddy is not good. Ah, come on, I can't just get around here too quickly. I need the exoskeleton. Right. I only got one, not that many other thingies. Maybe uh, instead of... Nah, I'm going all the way in here, that's not good. Alright, let's load it. Uh, this is definitely not a good area to be in. What I need is... Uh, hmm... A defense turret uh, that I load up with uh, with other turrets and whatnot. Uh, other turret that I just load up with uh, ammunition and so on. Uh, that could work. Mm hmm. I'm still not quite happy about it. There are some trees around which would probably be able to suck up some of the pollution that's happening in here. Um, but it's still not as good as it could be. Not as good as it could be. Let's cut down on those. Uh, wait a minute. What's the one with more damage on flammables? We got stronger explosives. Uh, physical projectile? Huh. No. Um, there we go. Refined flammables number four, which is the next one. Of course. This one does not use purple stuff. The whole thing increases the damage of fire based weapon. Uh -huh. Hmm. Or maybe uh, I should just go with better projectiles all the way. Yeah, I can get, take this one and this one, number five and six. Maybe more speed or whatever. Hmm. Why well, should just uh, choose a completely different weapon in itself? Maybe that could work. Um. Okay, this is actually quite iffy to do. Right. Uh, what does that one need? Copper plate, advanced circuits. Uh -huh, uh -huh. This one needs advanced circuits and this one not. That's strange. Okay, we cannot use Q in order to grab that. We have to do this ourselves. And... Up, 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 up. And this one goes a little bit down and... Oh, come on, really? Not enough stone available? Really now? 
Anyway, uh, this stuff is supposed to go down, of course. All the way down like that. And, uh, and we are going to mine things up here. So, question. Uh, how do we orient that? Outside, inside, outside, inside? Or inside, outside, inside, outside? I think we're going to go for inside, outside. Um, also, I need more of those drills. Let's hope I can make a few of those. Yeah. Uh, inside, outside, inside, outside. That's four, ten. That might be good. And this one, and uh, this one. Hmm. And we're going for something like this, this, and oh, that's all of them already. Wait a minute. Let's get rid of these and make them one after another. That could work. There we go. Nice. Now it just needs to be connected, of course. Uh, connection with the medium poles. Like... That could work. Maybe? No! Look at that! Um, this one space in here is actually the remaining space on this drill. Uh, and the other one is also not used up. So... I can't connect all of them together. I can just use a connection to four of those. Uh, there may be like uh, another four down there. They're still not done yet. Okay, how many more? Five. Uh, something like two down there, two down there, two down there, and uh, something like that. And like that. Perfect. Right. Let's take that one. It goes up here. That one's supposed to go something like that. Alright, uh, now the long range one. Long range is this thing. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, did not think about that. Um, maybe it reaches all the... Oh, yes. <laughs> That's neat. So, and this one can go all the way down, I presume, right? Like, bam. Hmm... Hmm. Containing that is kind of a pain. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I have to do two runs here in order to make it easy. Right. This one is, of course, outside our little building range. There we go. Every time. Okay. Need to make sure to place it always parallel to the car, but still in building radius. In this case, uh, maybe the uh, building robots would help. You gotta be kidding me. Come on! Just build the whole thing, and... Uh, then I need it connected to the network. Uh, where is it going to? Uh, Somewhere over there. And then the rest of the network is like still outside building range. Wait a minute. There we go. And then something like that. Nice. Let's hope that works, actually. No. Yes. Maybe a little bit. No. Not like that. Okay. Anyway. We got it connected. Uh, now the only thing that we need is uh, a connection to the bottom uh, part there. Now we need some furnaces up there as well. So do you want to go with a zigzag thing? I think... I don't know what's easier. Zigzagging or just tunneling? Uh, what does the tunnel stuff need actually? Tunnel stuff needs additional iron plates and five belts. Uh, but then it also uses those five belts. So it just adds... 10 more plates onto that. Hmm. I could just tunnel through here. Oh, come on. Outside building range. There we go.
Right. So, now I can do some tunneling. Um, this one is supposed to come all the way up. Uh, up down here then da, 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 some tunneling of course and in this case we want to have a little bit more room uh, actually it can come down like so and this one comes down like so and we want to rotate that and grab that grab that here and now the ore is coming here Okay, just needs to be burned, of course, which happens down here most of the time, but I think I'm going to place another burning site somewhere further out here, actually. That would be decent. Mm. Yeah, I have to cut this uh, up somehow to facilitate only, like, uh, electric furnaces. Advanced circuits. Mm. And stone bricks are needed for this. That's the thing. Advanced circuits and bricks. And bricks can only be burnt. And uh, all of that, again, needs coal. And advanced circuits need, like, other interesting stuff. Hmm. Right, 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 right. Um... I mean, I could try to move this a little bit to the side, so this one can all be electric furnaces and so on. Uh, let's just get the car a little bit closer. Da 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 dee, da da da. Oh, look at all of that coming in. Perfect. What about the. Ah, look at the pollution here. There's a little bit of rest pollution up there. We'll be okay now. Stone, 1.8 million. 56.2k copper. That's not that much copper. This one is like 4 million copper. Yeah, that one is needed more. That's 5 million copper. Okay. Right. Now then, how am I going to do that? Um, I mean, I do need the electric furnaces for the recipe, right? Hmm. Can I also uh, make the better... No, not yet. Uh, but I also need more and better uh, of these things. They need assembly machines. Assembly machines need gears and electric uh, circuits. And I think I need those tier 3 assembly machines for one of those uh, strange recipes. Um, not this one. Uh, not this one. The, not this one. Not this one. I thought I've seen something uh, that needs a very, very strange recipe. Hmm. Okay, what about rocket fuel? Uh, made in assembly machine free. Hmm. It's just made in there, but it's not used as a resource, which is okay. Thank goodness. Maybe it's made in here? No. Okay, so we just make them better though. Right. Uh, I need to make better assembly machines. I also need to make those electric furnaces. The electric furnaces need the red stuff. And the red stuff is coming from over here. And in order to make this, I need iron and uh, copper. And in order to make that, I also need to supply it with coal and the other resources, yet again. Uh, that means I have to... Split this up a little bit. Mm, or just make the coal run a little bit longer with another splitter. Yeah, that could maybe work. Hmm. In this case, I could try to take this one here. Uh, make it go a little bit further out like that. And then up like so. There we go. And just get rid of this here. Right. Now we just moved it a bit. Hmm. Let's save. Right, 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 right. Um, how am I going to do this? How am I gonna do this? I mean, we do need it for the... No. We just need to burn it. I need just electric furnaces. This is electric furnace. Ah. Let's just make an electric furnace crafting thing. But we need the assembly machines first. Sadly, I only have one. Uh, uh, electronic circuits. So let's build them up one by one. Kind of. Well, in this case, we need to burn it first. Therefore, we need the these furnaces. Or I can try to get some of the items out of here. So let's see. Yeah, that's working. Um, 
Let's just get some of these things out. Uh, that's not working, that's not working. Uh, some of this, some of that, some of that. Uh, some of that, some of that, and some of... That's not working, that's working. Some of that's working, okay. Now I got some base materials. Still not enough though. This one needs a base assembling machine. Oh boy. But this one needs just... Uh, yeah, why don't I just take the uh, the plates here? Wouldn't that make much more sense? Also, look at all of that material flowing in here. Huh. Right. So, let's pick this up. Now we should have a decent amount. Let's make all of them. And a furnace. Maybe a bit more. So, there we go, and another furnace. What else do I need? Uh, stone bricks now, okay. But stone bricks aren't really part of the recipe, aren't they? Do 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 do. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Do 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 do. Nice. Hmm. All of this I have to move once to the left in order to get the electric furnaces in here. I mean... When it comes to speed, they are as fast, right? Yes, crafting speed's the same, just the pollution isn't that high. That's the only real difference. Then I can move everything a little to the side. Everything would work again. Same with this. Uh, but in order to make all of that, I need more stone bricks. So the stone bricks are made again in the furnaces. How many furnaces do I have? Two. Um, right. Right, 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 right. Mm hmm. Okay, how am I going to make that work? Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into two. I'm going to connect one of those in here. Oh, let's just hope that there's no traffic jam or something happening there. That would not be good. Anyway, um, I'm going to split this. Or maybe I can just keep it. Now I'm going to split this up. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna split this up. I need some splitters. Well, actually, not splitters, but connections. Then, uh, because everything is somewhat the same, uh, we can connect it back again. And uh, this one is just turned uh, up a little bit, then to the right, and then it connects right there. And then, uh, because of the way it's set up, it works perfectly and facilitates the rest of it. Very well. Nice. So, uh, and then we're going to attach onto that uh, another splitter that places everything down there. Mm, nice, that should do it. Uh, another splitter so that we can uh, grab onto that. The question is, do we grab from here or do we grab from down there and turn it down again? We don't need this. Like this is a transport belt for the for the research. So we should grab something like uh, this, uh, and then we are going to place it further down. And then, like, actually, that's not the right uh, way of doing that. Let's just make it like that. So we have a bit more space in here in order to tunnel through if necessary. Right. Uh, maybe place some inserters and so on. Okay, so this is a uh, copper and iron, and both of them are needed in order to make the plates yet again. And uh, I had the genius idea in order to make something uh, crystalline, right? So uh, one, two. I just don't know the the distance, right? Mm, because sometimes I need to move items through there. So what I want to do is make some long inserters, which need, of course, additional gears and so on. Um, so I don't have a one uh, unit space in here. Wait a minute, this is the wrong one. Uh, something like that, and like that, and like that, uh, and that, and that, and uh, yeah, I don't have another of those assembly machines. That's quite iffy. <laughs> anyway, uh, another one will probably be placed up here, or depending on the setup, it will be slightly different. Um, and because we need some of those um, furnaces, right? Uh, they basically take up the uh, slot of one of those assembly machines, something like that. Um, so the setup is the same, just the buildings are somewhat different. So this one will facilitate the rest with the, the materials. 
and then it just uh, gets passed through here and then with a little bit of luck uh, I can actually arrange it in a way that uh, gives me the necessary output. Um, I just have to make sure that everything that needs the uh, the sheets uh, is connected to all of those, right? The other way would be uh, to... The other way would be to just have a change line. So this is the input line for the raw resources. Then we have this one in between uh, for the uh, for the sheets, uh, for the plates, for the iron and copper plates. And then what I'm going to use... Uh, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the copper plates themselves uh, and uh, put them in here as another input. So I'm basically going to place them something like that. Um, but yeah, another thing that I also want to make sure of is that I have uh, those splitters everywhere. Um, so that there's not just one stream of resources going in and then the first, uh, the first building gets it uh, and then the further we go in line then the last one won't get as many resources anymore what I want to do is like split it up evenly so that uh, the first half gets a decent amount the second half gets a decent amount and so on and so forth so every time when there's another building it means that there's another splitter so that there's always half and half and half and half and so on um, so that all of those uh, buildings get facilitated evenly that's at least the general idea behind it so uh, I want to get the plates guy. Uh, I only have two of them. Uh, in order to make more, I need stone bricks. And the stone bricks also need to be burned, right? So... This one also needs to be put into one of those uh, furnaces. That's just something to keep in mind, right? Um, so maybe I need like... Yeah, I need, I need a second layer of furnaces. Or maybe I just place them through here with an inserter, exerter's uh, thing Hmm. I think I could make that work. In this case, I just need like long grabbers or so in order to grab from a second uh, line there. Uh, what I can do though is I can make like that uh, and then I can go down like so, uh, directly through the splitter. And uh, then I'm gonna have uh, something like that. Okay, so now I can uh, get myself some stone bricks made, like that, and that should do it. I just need to connect it again, of course, to the electrical network with this thing. Uh, there we go, and everything's fine. Right, and all of this setup will definitely be done in the next episode. Until then, like and subscribe, of course. <laughs> Ta-da!